Thank you. Prime Minister, you talked in your speech about a moral duty to unite and level up our country. But over the past month, you and your ministers have stoked division over footballers taking the knee, saying it was just your politics, saying it was fans' choice to boo the team. And going back, there is further evidence of this divisive politics and language from you, be it describing Muslim women as in veils, as letterboxes or bank robbers, or indeed African people as pickanannies with watermelon smiles. For many people, your own record personally undermines your image as a unifying prime minister. What are you going to do to change that? Well, thanks, uh, Beth. Obviously, I, uh, you know, I reject that, um, uh, or disagree with it, I should say. And I think that racism has absolutely no place in our society. And I think that the England team represented the very best of, of us and our country. And I think that the overwhelming support, the, the outpouring of, of love for the England team after the match on Sunday showed this country at its best and uh, at its most united. You said you rejected what I said, but it is true that your ministers did not, from the start, condemn the booing of the players. Do you think that was a mistake? And as PM, do you personally now regret not being strong enough about this from the, right from the start? I, I always said that it was wrong to, to boo uh, the England players, Beth, and that is my firm belief. And I think that as a society, what we need to do is understand that we've made progress in tackling racism, I would say, in my lifetime. A lot of progress. But I think we have to recognise that there's still a long way to go.